There's this trend about developer laptops going about right now. I don't know. It looks stupid and it probably needs to be shut down. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you all the information you need to know so you don't get swindled by some laptop guru. In fact, let's just get the only reason you'd want a supercomputer out of the way right now. Unless you're running a massive machine learning model, triple A game development, or like 20 Docker containers at once. It's mostly useless. You don't need a PC. Laptops are versatile and they give you mobility. I know laptop gaming gets shit on and rightfully so, but coding is actually one of the few use cases where it is meta. As for your laptop requirements, your laptop should be able to run an IDE, a browser with maybe 10 tabs, unless you're one of those people, in which case maybe go for 12 to 16 GB of RAM and maybe GitHub desktop. For your operating systems, if you're going for Mac OS, legitimately all of their laptops are good, even the M1, you can pick any. If you're going for Windows, find a laptop in this range, with these specs minimum but you could get away with these specs barely if budget is really tight and if you're going for linux and plan to uninstall windows the bare minimum specs for that windows laptop is actually the ideal range for a linux one and theoretically you could get away with this on linux only if budget is really tight though be advised you might feel this one any preference like your keyboard Resolution, screen color, etc. is unnecessary unless you're getting paid to code, in which case optimizing a setup is fine. Don't take this video as me telling you to be frugal. I code on a mammoth PC and if this channel was making me money, I'd have a 5090 in my rig right now. But practically, before my dev job, I coded on a shitty laptop, this one specifically, and I was just fine. That is really all you need before you get your first job. That's it, I'm not going to flip this video out. If you appreciate this, you can just leave a comment.